Hello, I am uh, Dr. Tarakna Das, Assistant Professor in the Department of Chemical Engineering, Indian Institute of Technology, Roorkee. I am basically working on catalysis, particularly in the synthesis of the metal oxide catalyst used for the oxidation reactions, reforming reactions, hydrogen productions, hydrogen storage materials, and storage device applications. Here I am going to offer a course on advanced reaction engineering under MOOCs programs of MHRD, Government of India. UG final years and PG second year of chemical engineering, nanotechnology, chemistry, chemical engineering, chemical technology, biotechnology, material science will find it suitable for their career development. The course will also be useful for practicing engineer and R&D personnel in reaction engineering and reactor design, catalysis synthesis and its characterizations. The objective of the uh, course is to uh, develop a fundamental knowledge and a clear understanding of chemical reaction engineering. To study the various reactors and its design equations, to discuss about the present uh, pressure temperature effect in the chemical reactors, to discuss the key challenges in the catalyst deactivations, multi-phase reactors, surface reactions mechanism, development of various kinetics models and heterogeneous catalysis, data analysis for the heterogeneous catalysis and reactions. To discuss uh, the diffusions, reactions for the mass transfer effect, uh, moreover non-isothermal reactor design and various RTD uh, models. Moreover, the catalyst synthesis and its characterizations also will discuss in this course. So basically about the advanced reaction engineering to conduct any reactions, the basic requirements are the raw materials, reactor, catalyst. If reaction is catalytic, then we have to use, of course, catalyst. So moreover, uh, the other important factors that are the uh, reaction temperature, pressure, uh, flow rates of the reactants, byproduct formations of uh, for a particular reactions uh, is there or not, and many more items like uh, chemical kinetics, intermediate species formations, reaction mechanism, uh, reactions rate, uh, reactor types, uh, reactor size, conversions, yield, selectivity. These are the very important parameters we should discuss on this course. Moreover. Uh, in the reaction engineering analysis, the chemical kinetics is the study of reaction mechanism, uh, reactions rate uh, in uh, combined with a uh, reactor, so where uh, the reactions uh, is taking place or reactions is occurring. The selections of a reactors uh, or a reactor systems uh, that operate in a safest and the most efficient way for a longer period of time uh, is the key success of a chemical plant uh, to, and for uh, once we run a chemical plant that would that is one kind of uh, challenge we can say for a chemical engineer. In a reactions uh, or a chemical process if a large amount of the let's say undesired product formation is there so then uh, uh, after that what we have to do we have to follow the purification separation uh, to get the desired product therefore the overall process would be economically unfeasible, cost if, uh, more costly that would be. Therefore, uh, the production of a desired product or a target product with a high purity and cheaply is always a challenge for a chemical engineer. The laboratory data that uh, we are using that is directly we can use uh, uh, for the scale up of the process or a large scale reactor design. If the um, reaction rate are known for any type of reactions, uh, then uh, any uh, reactors we can uh, design uh, for that particular reactions. Since the reactions rate are the used to evaluate the chemical kinetics of the process, so using a catalyst, the reactions can be performed at lower reactions temperatures that without a catalyst or maybe used a catalyst increase the rate of the reaction. The development designs of a robust catalyst is very crucial for a reaction system. Therefore, uh, the catalyst synthesis and its characterizations is also very crucial 
for a heterogeneous catalyst and reactor system. The details of the course, there is a prerequisite of the basic reaction engineering UG course for this course and there are uh, 12 weeks in this course spread over 60 presentations each of 30 minutes. During this course assignments will be uh, given every week or else uh, it will be discussed at the end of each module for assessment of understanding on the subject or the theory that we are discussing uh, in each uh, lecture. So at the end of the course an examinations will be conducted for those who are interested to get course participation certificate. I look forward to interact with you during this course. Thank you.